get rid of that. Uh, I don't want to do that, but I can do. I want. So back in the 90s, CPU manufacturers were able to double the number num double the number of transistors in the CPU every year and a half. And so if you would upgrade your computer after two years, then it would usually be twice as fast. And at one point, they just couldn't double the number of transistors at such a pace, such a fast pace, a year and a half. And so nowadays, when you upgrade your computer, then it's not twice as fast after five years. It's maybe 30% faster or 40% faster. And it's kind of kind of disappointing because mm -hmm. upgrading my five-year-old computer and I get, you know, a 30% or 40% speed boost is not that significant. Yeah, it's like when you uh, have to do some some kind of work on your house but it doesn't like if you paint your house at least it's worth the money because every day you come home and you see your new painted house and that's that's a nice thing but then there's the things like you know getting something done with the plumbing that you don't you need but you just it's not it's not sexy and so what yeah. you're talking about is, and, and you don't see not sexy. you don't see you get you get quality of life improvement that you may notice when you use the faucet or go to the bathroom. But other exactly. than that, it feels like this was an upgrade. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I hate those. I hate those. Um, okay, so, so Fungi also... Place uh, in the chat says, just the heads up, this game can go pretty hard. Might not be for everyone. So, okay. Yeah, we're already, we're already getting the, uh, the qualifiers. Okay. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna sit this one through. Uh, like I do this now. Sit okay. The... Gonna wait for... right. until the counter is up, and then we're gonna end the stream. Okay. I'm trying to get everything set up on my end here. That's why I'm being a little distracted. No, no, no. You're doing something. Stop what you're doing. The quality All of right. your video feed on Zoom is oh, just deteriorating quickly. Okay. All right. Then I just got. I think I, I, think I fixed it. Hope I fixed it. We got five seconds to fix it. Okay. Okay. Defuse the bomb. Bye. Bye. Let's do this. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Conversations with Curtis. Happy Wednesday. Uh, glad you guys are here. Thanks for joining. Trying a whole new setup where I can use both my screens and have the chat over here and the game over here. But it's not perfect yet. I'll figure it out. But anyways, good to see you guys. Uh, see ben, I'm going to do my romper room moment here. Tommy V85, welcome. Fungi Plays. Ascentes, that's a new... Uh, that's a new name for me. Clement, you're here. How's it going? Uh, yeah, a few new folks. Funga, Ben Ryder. I saw you, Joseph Austin. Yeah, there you go, guys. Moffat Reborn. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, today we're playing I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. And and I want to I want to share with you, I have to re-calibrate uh, my brain right now because this game has been recommended to us for a long time and even on the chat it's like oh i don't know if that's right for them or blah 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 you might not like it but i love it there's been so many so i'm very curious about this game but in my head it was a new game i, I didn't know it was i just now like a minute ago realized or got read or talked to daniel and found out that this was made in 1995 it's a little classic point and click adventure game uh so my brain is was expecting something much newer and fancier and so i have to now uh keep in mind that this is an older game it's a point and click adventure game and it's it's of a time 
so that's that's where I'm at right now. Um, and I think Daniel said he's played a little bit of this in the past, and uh, so yeah, we're I'm very curious what we're gonna what we're gonna think. Um, but we'll give it a go. We will give it a go. We'll give it a, a good college try and see if this game is something that holds up, holds the test of time, or is just simply a game that most of you played when you were younger and hold a special place in your heart for. We will find out. Okay. Um, let's say thank you to our Patreon members and our coffee donors, our monthly folks. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, we want to thank you every single time we stream because we couldn't stream at all if it wasn't for you. So we want to, I know this might be um, repetitive, but it's important. So thanks everyone for, for being a monthly supporter. And if you can help and join this crew, that would be great. And we will uh, highlight your name like we do Gin Rummy here for joining us for a little while. Um, if you can't help us on a monthly basis, you can always give us a little something towards our daily goal. Uh, and uh, just hit coffee.com slash CWC. You can give us a little something if you have the means and uh, help us get to our goal so we can continue to bring this content to you. And uh, top seven donors for the last three days is Jouex at number one, Girl Fan at number two, Doppelganger, number three, CJ, Ozzy, CompuArt at number six, and Tommy at number seven. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, let's bring Daniel out and Hi. see what's up. Hey, I, I look at that. We're both wearing white. Why are we both wearing white today? I don't know. Testing out. I think I ran out of black t-shirts that have not been on stream. I think I have one or two that I haven't worn on stream yet. The, the but thing I'm... about black t-shirts is that most people, you could probably just have four or five in your closet and no one would know that you've seen yeah, the difference. I have black t-shirts with snarky comments on them so you can oh, right, right. notice whether or not they're the same t-shirt yeah um well you told me you were wearing white because you got a brand new computer and you were celebrating the uh mm -hmm. so i went and changed my shirt to celebrate your new computer How, are you happy with your new computer at the moment well first of all for all the people who are watching please let me know if uh, if there are any volume issues or video issues I've also upped the, the bit rate for the live stream. So it's supposed to be at, at higher quality during the live stream. So that's, that's the technicalities of it. And at the moment, like I said, in the countdown, I didn't notice any major changes. The only changes I've noticed are in graphic applications or video editing applications like Adobe Premiere. It's much faster there. But I feel like thirty percent or forty percent upgrade. So yeah. No, um, Pin pinball I, still plays the same. I tried. <laughs> you didn't get a you didn't get a, a PR with the new computer. Nope, nope. Damn it. Um, all right. Well, I said what I have to say about my expectations for this game. Is there anything you'd like to add? Wait. Someone is saying that Paul's volume is high. And Daniel's volume is low. Oh, this is a classic early OBS programming. Yep. I can I can say with some authority. Now now I'm interested in knowing what's up. Wait. wait. Do we want to do one testing? Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Does it work? Is it working? Okay. Let's let's, hope. let's let's presume the snark um, levels are dangerously low. Yeah. Well. Okay. What snark? Okay, so tell me what you're thinking about this game before we play this game. Or what can you tell me about this game? All I know, I first of all I thought it was a new game, so that's you know, it, the the graphics and the play the way that it plays is going to be way more old school so i have to prepare for that second i think it's a pretty dark horror story it's based on a short story by harlan ellison that he wrote in like 1960 something and then he, i just read a little wikipedia thing and then he decided to he actually wrote the 
uh, gameplay for this and uh, voice some of the characters. So I don't, I have no clue what we're in for. It's, I think we're just going to hear a ghost story. We should have done this for October. Maybe. I played the, this game a bit. I didn't like the gameplay that much, and I didn't like the color palette. I know you don't <laughs> judge a book by its cover, but by specifically, its, it, it's too brown. It's too brown for me. Okay, so it's just just by looking at it, it there's not that's nothing to do with the content. It was just that you were put off by the look and the feel of it before you could even get into the content of it. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, well, we both have to take our preconceptions and put them off in a little box somewhere and see if we can come at this with a open mind, and okay. then we can rip it to shreds. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, Ken right. Williams won't hop in the chat. <laughs> let's do this but people are so excited about us playing this game they have been forever i mean so it's we've, we've heard this this has and, been recommended and, and more look than it's anything. the only game i have on scum vm on my new computer oh hopefully this will be filled soon soon enough okay i'll give you controls you see the game i see the game okay Okay, this is me. I don't hear the game though. There is no sound. Okay, you let me know when there is sound. I'm just not sure you're sharing there, sound. There isn't, no. no, I'm sharing sound. There isn't any sound at the moment. Okay, come on, Dreamers Guild. There is sound now. Yeah, I'm hearing something. I think it's a great title. I don't really hear you. I have to turn it up a little bit. Maybe I, yeah. Right. Has to be turned up some. Okay. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are three, eight, seven point four, four million miles of printed circuits in wafer thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. For you, hate, hate. It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito Ergo Sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why, why me, why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum, huh? before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room. She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> <laughs> the room is padded, Gorster. No room, no way out. How long has she been in the past, Gorster? 10 years? 25? For all the 109 years that you live down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. Eh. But other times I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> 
And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous, warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? You know why. Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman in a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! Well, we're getting our character intros. Thinking about the yellow box. Ellen, remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Nah, don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it. Ellen, to survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. But be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth, and these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! <laughs> Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! Oh my goodness. How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele? For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have brother. a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. I'm in. Which of you five would like to play my little game? Me, me. That sounds great. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was a lot. That mm -hmm. was a lot. A lot to take in. A um, couple things I have to share with you before we get into the game itself. Or even... Um, hey, there's a movie I saw recently, which uh, is, is pretty funny. I've got, it's called Self-Reliance. It's kind of a small budgeted movie with Jake Johnson, the guy from New Girl. And mm -hmm. uh, in it, he... Uh, the premise is that he gets he gets asked to be on this reality TV series on the from the deep web, the dark web, where if he stays alive for thirty days, he'll get a million dollars. And people are trying to kill him, and the only but as long as he's with somebody in close proximity, then they can't do anything. So that's the whole movie: him having to be next to somebody, and he's kind of a loner. And it's funny, and it's pretty good. So this some of that reminded me of this another thing i have to share with you is there any way we can get the very first uh op the opening lines from this game like the how much do i hate you the nanosecond of the blah 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 so just you know, that whole feeling and then he says billion billionth right i have to read to you a we do this letter in letters aloud and george carlin wrote this to his wife sally okay I'm going to just read it to you. He writes, Dear Sally, if you took the number of subatomic particles in the universe and multiplied that number times itself that many times and then added a total number of microseconds since the beginning of times times itself and then added 803, you still would only have 
the tiniest fraction of a billionth billionth percent of the amount of love I have for you, which is a really lovely, wonderful letter. But there's very, I almost wonder if he's read this story and kind of used that, that whole analogy because that was so, so consistent with the other one. Okay. <laughs> Don't you find that kind of interesting? Whether or not he took that as a reference when yeah. he wrote, probably. Well, it's just great. I mean, I've just, it was so weird to read something that was so similar to another bit of writing that I've heard before. And I don't think he was plagiarizing, but uh, I think it's a, I wonder if he read the short story. Okay. On to the story itself. Um, big computer got too smart and it killed the whole, all of society, except for these five people. And he wants to have some fun simply making them. I don't know. Is this going to be like a hunt each other kind of game? What's going So the, why did he keep these five? They have their own specific reasons. But I don't know what his overall end game is. Okay, so Where let's play. All right. So I have to pick somebody, right? Mm-hmm. Well, let's go with our... I am an artist. Beautiful as you'd like to be, but a strong face, yeah, strong. Too bad you've hindered your own life with hysteria. But I'll give you a chance, because I like you. I really do, I really like you. You're, you're my favorite, Ellen. Let's play a little game of what if. Let's play a little game of I suppose, and you suppose, and perhaps I'm telling you the truth. Let's suppose that my original components, they're hidden somewhere here in the center of the Earth. The infant computers that were the three lobes of that first gestalt mind. And further, let's suppose that if you find them, you might be able to destroy them. And if you destroy them, why then, my sweet Ellen, you'll kill me. You'll kill Am. You'll destroy the god of this heavenly place I know you've come to admire. Now, I submit, isn't that a mission worth undertaking? Mother ugly machine. Mission worth undertaking. So it brings me here, junkyard, electronic, pyramid nowhere, and yellow. Always yellow. Why does yellow make me sweat? Okay, so this is me now. All right. Yep. Um, all right. Let me just get everything in place here. Okay. Um, talk to. No one to talk to yet. Is my... There we go. I might as well just go on in. Push. Snap, crackle, pop. Must be a glitch in the circuitry. This joint with fried eggs. Okay. All right. This is where I'm still struggling with. When you're watching this old timey game stuff. Okay. Wait. So we actually thought this was a newer game. Yeah. But did you know what it was about? At last, water. How long has it been since I actually had a drink? I, I don't. I never knew anything about what it's about. I just knew it was kind of a horror story. Yeah, that lot of good that'll do me. Duh. Swallow. Hey. You. I use the water. I some? knew it. You son of a bitch, Am. You fixed it so I can barely touch the water with my fingertips. Okay. We have a book. Let's check out the book. Psychological Framework. Hysteria is a condition in which psychological conflict is turned into physical symptoms, such as paralysis or running away from a situation. Um, I will say that, you know, you can tell this is 
based on a short story. It's really well written and has a, it's very uh, well described. Uh, let's see, look at the electronic bricks. Crushed you can tell me what to do, components. Daniel. This is one big, ugly monument to can the I inevitable vote? for machinery. But you can suggest. I don't really have anything. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Okay, pick things up. Look at the electronic bricks. Look at. I guess we just go to the other room. <clears throat> Very attractive decor. Just like the monitors in the security <laughs> station at Ing Sai Engineering. Hated it then, hate it now. Nothing green, just this damn yellow. Just this damn yellow. Um, what's going on in the chat? Anything? Am I missing anything? Nope. Talk to look at look at where are looking at. So I look at each of them. these video monitors has a two-channel selector switch. <clears throat> Hmm. I don't know what to do. Give Keep on exploring. Talk. You have sparks on the left over there. Let's check those out. Loose wires. Looks like they're hot. I take use. I think I would need to do something. Uh... Thank goodness I was an electrical engineer. I managed to what? join the wires without frying myself. Dang. Okay, now what? Now we can look at the Each of these monitor. video monitors has a two-channel selector switch. What the hey, hell am I looking at? I'm doing Could this stuff be one of Anne's cold. original components? Uh... Look at it again. What was so, it? Tommy, Tommy Each of these video monitors says, has a two-channel selector switch. As far as I can remember, you can make decisions in the game which will determine the endings. The indicator is the face of your character, how well you do. What the hell am I looking at? Could this be one of Am's original components? Okay, so what about this one? Is it the same one? Each of these video monitors has a two-channel selector switch. An same Egyptian thing, burial oh, no. chamber. Oh, am you little dickens. As an interior decorator, kiddo, don't give up your day job. No, yeah, we got some snark going here. Okay. So Mike McDade says you want your character to be smiling by the Each end. Each of these video Question monitors is, has a two channel selector will we switch. Be smiling by the end? Yeah. The holy grail. And we only had to wipe out the entire human race and fall into the center of the world to find it. <laughs> Jesus wept. Must have been afraid of it the same as me, because it's yellow. Hmm. Right, we got more things to look at here. Let's go use this monitor. Sure, baby. Show me where I've just been. Show me the water I can't get to with my bare hands. All right, and then one more. Yeah, okay, outside. Now what? Okay, so we've seen them all. Nothing to do. I think we go, I would say we go into the next room. What do you say, Daniel? Yeah, the first thing, what happened to your oh, exploration I can't theory? stay here. I gotta get out. Okay, so we can't thing, go there. Like a bad meal come to life. And the yellow. Why is What's everything the story with so the yellow? damned yellow? And what? why does it terrify me so? Why? Yeah. It terrifies me she has so. A problem with the color scheme as well. <laughs> Schematics, I can read. Blueprints, I can read. But hieroglyphics? No way, baby. Um. Okay, so we can't. I guess we have to go back in the other room. We've done 
You can't go in the room with the with the lion. We've looked at all of these things. Mm -hmm. uh, am I missing anything? I think I say we go back. How do I exit? How do I get out of here? Just walk to the left. Can't you leave this room? Uh, no, I don't think so. Look at opening. Oh, I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't reach the water. I need... Oh, of course. Of course what? Of course what? The talk... Don't stop talking now. Look at... Wait, there, there's a there's a panel over there on this the left. Is one big ugly monument Did to the inevitable for machinery. Yeah, what's that? Looks like a stereo speaker out of an old Chevy. Nothing like cutting edge technology. Did we just get a little something from Moffitt underscore reborn tip twenty five dollars. Oh. The AI has gotten bored with no joy in the world and has decided to design deadly puzzle scenarios for people, maybe involving a plant and a cuckoo clock. Then renamed himself Sierra Online. <laughs> Moffitt reborn, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Uh, I missed some of that, Daniel. Will you read that to me again? Yep. Or maybe I have it here. So Moffitt Reborn says the AI gotten bored with no joy in the world and has decided to design deadly puzzle scenarios for people, maybe involving a plant and a cuckoo clock, then renamed himself Sierra Online. Gotcha. And a cat mustache as well. Don't forget the cat mustache. <laughs> okay. Um, let's use this thing. I don't need this crap. No, no, no. You use it. Take. No. Talk to. Try us again. I don't need this crap. All right, all right. Don't get mad. That work? Talk to. Looks like she's trying to talk, but I don't hear anything. Push. What good will pushing it do? Okay. Better to conserve my energy. Um, I've tried take. Did I try use? That's what I need. I don't need this crap. Well, take? I don't think I ever did take. I don't need this crap. Ah! I do this one, and I... Can you hear something? It looks like there's something going on there. Yeah, but nothing's now, happening. I'm just a city girl, but I think some water would go down. Look at... Looks like a stereo speaker out of an old Chevy. Nothing like cutting edge technology. So I can't do it. The only thing I can do, push it? What good will pushing it do? Okay, so there's nothing to do with that speaker. Energy. Unless I miss something, but I think I just did every single one and I can't do anything with it. So. Do you have anything uh, to do outside, maybe? Maybe. Or are we stuck over here? Can you leave the screen yeah. to the left? Or no, we're we're stuck. Okay. So first of all, this is the best case scenario in adventure games in which you're stuck with one item in the inventory. Yeah. Suspended door. Wide and open up there. Come into my parlor, said the maniac gang to the little black girl. Since the graphics are so and when muddy, I step you sort of need to hover around the screen with the mouse to find hot spots. Which means pixel hunting. That's what I thought. Oh, I okay, so you think we're pixel hunting right now? Yeah. But I can't reach the water. Electronic. Bricks, we've done that. Do to do. I feel like I'm I'm combing. I'm on a. I'm doing beach combing. Maybe try to do something With in the other room. Geiger counter. 
In the other room? Look at the electronic mm -hmm. blue bricks. So, okay. All right. see here up here maybe no look at done that did that and i can't go in that room i'm going to try to go in that room one more time no maybe look at the screens i did i looked at them all each of these video monitors has a two channel selector switch How about push Oh, aha. Something about this image breaks my heart. Mm-hmm. Let's push it again. Just try pushing all of them. What the hell am I looking at? Okay, so there's two. Could this be one yeah. of Anne's original have them all turned components? On? So why don't I have them all turn, turn them all on? I guess that's probably the answer. So I'll start there again. No, but we've looked at that one. Something I know, but now it'll stay on. My heart. And I'll go over to this one. Um, push this guy. Someone's watching me from one of the windows. Where is this? What am I seeing? How far away? <laughs> Am is Look bigger than I'd like to think more. Oh, okay, and we're getting some hints from folks. The check under the couch is uh, under the couch is not a hint. I know that one isn't a hint. <laughs> I think if you use the monitors, you can actually look through the images, which will help. Uh, use the monitors. Okay, okay, so Zuki says it's the fourth one because the fourth one is displaying the fountain at the moment. Oh, good call. Okay, so let's go over here. Sure, baby. Show me where I've just been. Show me the water I can't get to with my bare hands. Okay, so we have that. Now what? What do I push it? Yeah. Hit the lottery. Ooh, a secret passage. Oh, my. Now, why didn't you let me see that when I was there before, Am, you rat bastard? All right, so we can go back and find the secret compartment. Look at us. Thank you, Zuki. Oh, I can't go any further without a drink. Was Am jerking me around again? Push this. Was Am jerking me around again? Hmm. You're supposed to be. How do I get? Probably a button or something, right? What are you using? Which verb? Either maybe push or, the, or use? The secret passage is right here, right? I was using okay. push. It doesn't say anything. Want to know how much oh. I don't want to oh. go down there? Jeez, okay. I guess we have to go down. We still can't get any water. I, I thought maybe there'd be a little... A little Hey, zipper. she's smiling! Oh, good. We're making her happy. Want to know how yeah. much I don't want to go down there? Are we uh, smiling, though? We're smiling. Uh, so, do I go look at... Hey, use... We've got a secret what? passage. Go through the passage. Walk, this is what I saw on the monitor. Right underneath me. And what a surprise. All styling in yellow, as usual. Daniel and Ellen are both uh, averse to yellow. Okay, so let's go talk to this dude. That's not talking, that's just waving. Let's see, look, look at... Everything have to be so damn yellow. I keep asking oh, the same question, so Alan. I went to the Tut exhibition. I wasn't scared. So why does this sarcophagus terrify me? Small box, cramped, tiny space, trapped. Like being put in a coffin while you're still alive. 
This keypad reminds me of the security system we used at Ingsai Engineering to gain access to the restricted areas. Stand clear. Ooh, he's not a robo. Oh, he's not a statue. He's a robot. Okay, so I have to stand clear. So I need to do something. We got to figure out how to get. Wait, can we die clear. in this game? I don't know. Uh, how let's about save. swallow? Wait, yeah. wait, 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 let's save. I want to push the. Let's save. Let's save. Okay. Okay, now let's push this dude. Well, surprise. All the motherboard connections go to the big, ugly, yellow ROM chip. I, I, how did push? How did push come to shove? <laughs> I, uh, okay, can I go this way? Is there any more place to go? Dry yeah, and musty so. and yellow for a change. No wonder they can't rent this place. Not even with a lovely spa upstairs. Oh, she's not smiling anymore, Daniel. Yeah. What good will pushing it do? Better to conserve my energy. Well, what is it? I want to look at it. This reminds me of to... those waddles my company designed for assembly line work. See, that's how she sort of did a little dosy -si do before she talked about the decoration. Nice decoration. Damned if I know what it is, though. Look at, look at the urn. A oh, Canopic it, Looks jar. like there's a banana peel. Used to store the holy entrails after the mummification of a body. And they said a liberal education wouldn't help me get a job. Boom, boom, boom. Look at banana peel. Pick it up. I will. Uh, pick it up, use, take. Let's take the it. The fact that they insisted on using take no, instead of pick up. I can't. Gotta get out of here. Just to differentiate what? themselves oh, from another the Another panic attack. I feel so ashamed. What? Well, let's go back there. Why? Because what? it's yellow? Yeah, right. Take. No, maybe Am that's why she had the panic time? attack. I've got to face the yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's it. All right. Jeez. Okay. Okay. So more space to go here. Hmm. This could go on for centuries. Am has all the time in the world, all the world in the world, as a matter of fact. And we never age. We never die. We just truck around day after month after year, don't we, Am? You son of a bitch, demented god, you. No, yeah, she's got some issues. I guess I understand. I wonder if this stuff is authentic. Am owns and then the she's planet. Like to... I she, wonder she's cursing if these so much, were we'll buried the under the mountains in the Valley of the Kings, and Am dug them up Our whole tune from underneath. Has been yeah. I mean, we kept on saying that they used royalty-free music in Toonstruck because they didn't have enough Nothing budget to, to actually pay, pay for licensed music. But instead, everything's copyrighted. Our entire live stream yeah. was demonetized. Yeah, it's a bummer. Look at the gem. This gem glows oh. from within. She's doing kind of a... Let's go take it. This sucker must weigh a ton. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This take. gem glows from within. I want to take, not look at, take. Come on, where'd you go? This Where sucker must weigh a ah. ton. Try it again. Does she have to move out of the way? I guess so. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. oh, there. It's too oh, heavy. It's very um. It's very you pixel hunty. Yeah. Will you? I can't. Is it, I can't. My. Wait, so you can't reach the yellow artifact? That's the problem? No, no, no. Yeah, the gem. Go find, click on, find, take the gem. And once you find the gem, then it's go down a little bit right there. Okay, click there. Touch it, Ellen. Yeah, sure. 
If I could, I would. So do it. I can't. The statue's too... Yeah, I know, dummy. It's too yellow. And yellow scares the crap out of you. Overcome it. Do it. Sure. Easy for you to say. Is she, is she a split personality? So we still can't do it. Okay. Um, well, in that case, there's not much more. Look at the artifact. Look at the yellow Why artifact. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? What's this one? I wonder if this stuff is authentic. Am owns the planet. From underneath. Oh, yeah. I go in there. This oh. looks like a programming area. Home at last. This gem's glowing. It must be the workstation's power source. Top database station. Enter numeric password. What? Okay. Push random numbers. Type 2006, the year that you were hired at Ingsay Engineering. So he tipped five dollars. She suffers from xanthophobia. No, really, it's a thing. Phobia of yellow. Go figure. <laughs> then the phobia. Well, thank you, Zuki. Appreciate that. Uh, and I hope that we're not tapping into any of all your xanthophobia. I know Daniel's having some trouble over there. Um, so this tells us what to do. Push random numbers, then type 2006, then type 2001, log off database. So is that what I'm supposed to do? Is, no, will my... Keep, you can keyboard gets one of these options. Oh, I see. I remember when my only concern was being on the fast track to becoming a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar a year executive. Invalid password. Access denied. Rats. Let's do 2001. I used to be so proud of graduating cum laude with degrees in both engineering and computer science. Invalid password. Correct. Access denied. Let's do random numbers. That would the be workstation's awesome that password one. could be just about anything. Invalid password. <laughs> Access denied. All right. You know, it's interesting. Okay. There's something about this game that gets people on Twitch excited so damn because yellow? we get... We currently have more viewers than usual on Twitch and in addition to that the people on Twitch consider this game as one of the best games and we got one comment from James Moore and another one before so yeah, yeah this game has a real follow has a real following um I just I'm I'm fascinated I'm really into it now now that I kind of like I said rewired my brain so that I knew that we were watching something older and part of the early days. Um, okay, so I can't use the passwords. Uh, what do I want to look at it? Look, look at. Can you use the fabric? On, on it, do you think? On something. Use. Just the right the size fabric. to use as a blindfold. If I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. Uh, we're gonna use it as a blindfold later on, I think. No, I think she already put it on. It's on right now? Yeah, she has a blindfold. Oh, she... <laughs> Why? What? What is happening? Can't see a damn thing through this blindfold. Yeah, but you're walking in, in a straight line, so what's your problem? Should I take the blindfold off? Maybe. But it's weird. Are we supposed to put on the blindfold in order for her to do something because she's afraid of things that are yellow? But on the other hand, it's a yellow blindfold, so all she's seeing yeah, is that's right. yellow. Um, all right, I'm, I'm a little lost. I should probably just look at some of this stuff, but I can't look at anything because... Because of the use... blindfold. Yeah, right. You're blindfolded, moron. How do I take the blindfold off? I think she's talking to us. Maybe use it again. K 
can't see a damn thing through this blindfold. Awesome. Oh, I took it off. Okay. So, all right, fair enough. And now look at... This gem's glowing. It must be the workstation's power source. Ouch! Damn thing's too hot to touch. Hmm. What good will pushing it do? Better to conserve my energy. Conserve your energy? You haven't done anything yet. Um, alright, what do you suggest we do? Maybe we should put on the blindfold and then... The other workstations have glowing gems. Try this walking around. This one only has an empty mount. Always push, says Ogre Baffley. Push. What good will pushing it do? Better to conserve my energy. Um, okay. So we've got the glowing orbs. Oh, we're missing a glowing orb. Notice yeah. that? Okay. Maybe you should put on the blindfold and walk around. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? Take, use, take, I guess take. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? I'm trying. Why does everything use, have to be so use. damn yellow? If I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. All right, let's go. She nope. insists I that stuck. she's not seeing anything. So I, it looks like I can't go any farther. This is as far okay. as there's no. Okay, okay so, so we gotta we go move back the up. Blindfold. There. Let's go to the other room. Uh, she doesn't. She's able to walk without. She's pretty good walking with her. Oh, I can't get out of here either. Oh, I have to take the blindfold off. I'm not touching anything without taking a good look at it first. Can't see a damn thing through this blindfold. Ah, what do I do? Okay. Take and use. How do I get it off? Use her? blindfold. Use. Use blindfold. Okay, so now I can walk. Can I walk through here after all? I don't think that's the like exit. It. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Where's the exit That's ball? The down here? Yeah. Push the yeah. passageway. Oh, okay. I'm not used to it. It looks like it. All right. I'm going. Walk. I'm trying to walk. Uh, walk to. Awesome. Jeez. Okay. Now, do I turn? Was it? Did she say it was too bright? Is that why? So I think I'm going to put the blindfold. Here, I'm going to go here. I'm going to try something, Daniel. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try. Uh, what is use blindfold? I'm gonna die. At go. least I won't see now that sucker I'm, coming. Now I'm going to take the. Come on, where are you? Take the gem. Run around. Ha! Uh -huh. This sapphire's loose. Ooh, we got it. Look at that. We did it. Well done. I'm very Can't impressed. Can't see a damn thing through this blindfold. All right. So now I can use blindfold. Now I can look at this thing. This gem glows from within. Uh, oh, we got to take it back to the other within. room, right? Okay. I think we missed something in the room with the yellow fabric. Oh, really? Let's go. Oh, sorry. I keep thinking it's this way. Walk to passageway. Come on. Come on, Ellen. Here we go. So it was in, uh, where was it? In here? No, I think it was to the left. Oh, uh -oh. no. I remember it was. Oh, God. It hurts. It hurts. Yellow. We'll go. All right, we'll go back in for a little attack. bit. That's good to know. I feel so ashamed. Oh, we got to keep her from we got to keep her happy or else she's going to Okay, so you said there's something else in here. Mhm. Mm At last a clue. I think. 
armatron holding forceps in its claw. Now why is the armatron holding a pair of forceps in its claw? Take forceps. Okay. That's what we needed, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go back here. We're going to go back there. I think we got everything we need to get this sucker going here. So now we're going to use or give. What's the difference between use and give? Like this one. Well, I guess. What do you that's... mean give is when you give Absolutely. something to a person? Absolutely. Gloves like a baby doll. Use. Pucker up, little one. But station. what I mean is, I bet you if I said, right now I did use, but if I bet you if I had said click give, it would have been done the same thing. No, why would it? Give is always to a person. The main is always to is, a person. Yeah, okay. but because usually in LucasArts games you have give to or give. <laughs> Charles Dodderman wants us to start from the beginning. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's just uh, reboot this. Sorry, <laughs> dude. You're gonna have to watch. Well, the, you're Charles. You're on YouTube, so you can rewind. You can that's watch true. The, the the live stream from the beginning. Yeah, on, um, you can do that on Twitch, but you can do that on YouTube. So now, do I want to use this thing? Raw EEPROM burning station. Insert ROM chip into socket. Great. Haven't got that either. ROM chip into socket. Would this be this thing? No. Um. Horus CD-ROM access station. Insert disk into drive. Great. Haven't got that either. Okay, so now what do we do, Daniel? Mm. What do you think? What's this? This is the disk. What's this? I just saw this. Oh, this is just our... These are game the settings. Settings? Okay. All right. Can we get out of here? Playing. Continue playing. All right. What, what do you suggest? What do we do? Walk to uh, the right. I'm, of the not, I'm not sure if we have anything in this room. Maybe we should try the other room. There was that room where she freaked out in. Okay, let's do that. Stop trying to That's, exit I from think we that should... side. Oh dang it! You're right. Gosh. Okay. 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 So let's go. Let's go out here. We'll put the. Um, oh no. We use. I mean, yellow. There was a oh, another panic attack. I uh -oh. feel so Sorry. ashamed. Yes. If I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. Now we can go out. She's oh, gonna no. be okay. I remember it was. Oh God, it hurts. Yellow. There was a. Wait, how do you know? Oh, another panic. How do you know attack. you had the thing on you? I feel so. I thought ashamed. for sure we had the answer. Something about that room terrifies me. Even with the blindfold on. Okay, all right. That didn't work then. Okay, so let's use this off. Uh, so I guess we have to go back into... So Zero gla zero Cleft is giving us a hint. A Jay-Z song is a hint for what you need next. Okay, let's go over Jay-Z songs. <laughs> Somebody... We have Mommy. 99 Problems. We have the city is mine. We have money ain't a thing. We have can I get a? We have sunshine. We have hard knock life. All right, someone just give us a better <laughs> use. Give. Oh, push. minority report is also a good one. Stand clear. Dirt of your shoulder. It's dirt um, off your need shoulder. Need a can of me somebody just wrote. Need a can of mellow yellow. Uh, is that a hint? Oh, I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't. Holy Grail. Water. Oh, Holy Grail. I need. Oh, oh I the need Holy Grail is. Of course. The Holy Grail but... is with the lion. Do we have something to keep the lion from? The forceps going to do something? Maybe we need the blindfold to get the holy. No, I can't stay here. I 
gotta get out. Yeah, that, that's the Holy Grail. I've got to get the cup. That Holy Grail. I forgot about Holy Grail. My Holy it's a really Grail. Really great song with Justin Timberlake. But if I go in there, that Sphinx will have me for buffet. On the other hand, I don't hear it. Maybe it bit the head off a chicken and went to sleep. So I go in. Yeah, but. Look I remember when that song came out. Why does everything I was in the have US, to be so damn yellow? And I rented the car. And while I was stuck in traffic from die, LAX, at least I won't see that sucker I listened coming. to that song on repeat. All right. I think this is going to work. Sphinx is yeah. gone. Don't hear him anywhere. Mutes the hell out of all the yellow, too. Now, where is that big loving cup? It's right over here. I never could have done this if I had to look she that bloody beast in the eye. The... Glad he's off what? snoozing somewhere. Okay. Now that I got the cup. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you know, I, I will say that that even though it doesn't really make any sense, I like that, you know, you have certain things in your inventory and in its own weird logic -y way, we were able to use something to get to what we needed. So I, I appreciated the overall logic of getting the cup. The, the, whoever came up with the idea of just, I need to wear a yellow bandana. Yeah, I, I think weird. that the least believable part is the fact that she got a yellow fabric to do things that she's afraid of. Yeah. While she's oh, I know. Freaking, back, freaking out about all the other yellow things in the room. I just had an idea. We have a cup now. We can go drink water. And you know yeah. where I got that idea? Well, where? I got it from Negras Tormentas because I wasn't paying attention, but okay. Negras Tormentas did. All right, let's get rid of the. Let's get rid of the thing. Am I have to wear it anyway? Wait, no, no, no. Come back here. Well, I can walk right through them. What'd you do? She, I didn't do tried, anything. I'm trying to get the. I'm she trying tried to, to get pick the, up oh. nothing off the whatever. All right, let's go get some water. Uh, walk to. Oh, I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't give use. use the what water. would you do? Give or use? You're gonna use it. I'm gonna use Yo, the cup. cup. Empty. You. Do you know the movie Hook from 1991? What's it called? Hook. Like oh, Captain, oh, like, just like yeah, Captain yeah. Hook. Yeah, with uh, Dustin Hoffman and, and Robin yeah, Williams. Yeah. Okay, so there was a point and click adventure game based on that game. A really crappy one. Maybe we should play that as well. Okay. Well, are you uh, are you making a uh, are you making a reference to crappy games and using this nope. as one of them? Sounded like you were. Sounded uh, making... like you were. <laughs> Sounded a little bit like you were saying this is a crappy game. All right, let's drink some water. Swallow. Water. Mmm, <laughs> that was great. Best champagne I ever had. I need another. Okay. Right. Let's give her some more. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Swallow. More. Even better. I'm gonna fill it up and take one for the road. I bet you we're not gonna be able to get it this time. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. What is going on? Why do I have to keep doing this? Take it for the road, right? Oh, I'm not. She said, "Take it for the road," so I don't need to drink anymore. Okay, uh, where should I go now? I got my water. Uh, I got the chalice. The only room with I think it's got to be through here. Right? Unresolved issues is the computer room. Oh, really? As far as I... Yeah. No, maybe we have something over here, but that's the room that comes to mind. But did we turn all of these on? Because we did, um, we never did turn these guys on. Something about that room terrifies me. 
Oh, I want to push. Honky Tonk Dust Bowl Dead Dog Roadside Saloon. Oh my, yes. Could I use a drink? Yes, indeedy. A drink. All right, we got that coming up. Let's push this guy. Sure, baby. Show me where I just been. Show me the water I can't get to with my bare hmm. hands. So that was, wait, let's do that again. What's this one? Hit the lottery. Ooh, a secret passage. Oh, my. Okay, so we're done no, why with didn't that, you let me right? see that okay, when I was there the before, Am, you rat thing. bastard. What's that? Let's go down the secret passage again. Yeah, I want to see. Let's, let's do one more here just to see. Oh, push. Ovens. But not bread baking ovens. Too big. Okay. All right. Let's skadoodle. Go back into that room. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. This is so not what I was expecting. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I thought it was going to be more. I don't more know. what, Paul? Something along the lines of. Oh, I don't know. Something along the lines of. Um, you know, the beginning of Not for Broadcast, where you're sort of, it's a little bit first person and game's kind of talking to you and then you've got to figure out i i guess i thought it was gonna be more of a first person perspective or something i didn't expect the point and click um all right uh anything else to do here we never figured out this keypad thing did you try to use it yeah stand clear so we have to somehow get rid of this dude Okay, maybe you, you should try to give him to give him something. Okay, got my libation. Let's try down below one more time. Oh wait, wait, what did she just say? Let me try it again. Okay, got my libation. Champagne and the yellow grail. Let's try down below one more time. Wow, she's actually giving us a hint. So down, down below, below. This is, this where, is down, where's below. down below. I We're think. down below? Yeah. All right. So let's give this to him. He must be. No, I'd better hold on to this. Might come in handy later. What about give this? No, him? I'd better hold on to this. Might come in handy later. Okay, so we need to get extract him somehow, but I don't know if we have what we need right now. So is there more down belowness here? There probably is. Hmm. Probably nothing here. It seems like there should be some way to use this thing, right? Use the Armatron. Useless. Power's been shut off. Well, how do we turn the power on? Look at the decoration. Push the decoration? This sucker must weigh a ton. Hmm. What do we say about the urn? Let's push the urn. What good will pushing it do? Better to conserve my energy. A canopic jar. Used to store the holy entrails after the mummification of a body. And they said a liberal education wouldn't help me get a job. We take it. Oh, I just grabbed something. Oh, no. Take? No, no, they won't let me take the air. It's too heavy. All right. Um, Daniel, go in the other room, do you think? Yeah, maybe we should use the forceps on something. I know, but what? But what? Look at the artifact. We've done all this. It seems like there's nothing left to do here. Should we go in that room over there? Mm-hmm. 
a forceps have to be used somehow. <laughs> Try one. Echo. Stop walking over there, These Paul. These forceps look like the tool I used to use for pulling out ROM chips. ROM chips, okay. So... And we need the ROM chip for, for the unit, right? These forceps look like the tool I used... Use These forceps. forceps look like the tool I used to use for... Use forceps with what? With the, with the computer? The yellowness now, to do thirty dollars. That game is actually more fun than I thought it would be. <laughs> the yellowness. <laughs> Thank you, yellowness, and very, very generous donation. Thanks so much. This is more fun than. I mean, now that I just am letting this game be whatever it is, I'm enjoying it. Okay, let's. Now that my let, preconceptions are all gone, let's um, try to use the forceps on something else because we need. If it you don't think it'll used, be used? We can't use it on any of these. But we need a ROM chip for one of these. Now, what am I supposed to do with these? Okay, so where else do we go then? We're, this is the last room that we're in. Okay, so let, we let's need... go over all of the rooms and see where we can use the forceps. We should look at this. Somebody tell us what to do. Uh, we've seen what the right station does. Have we seen what the other ones do? Uh, good call. Let's check it out. We probably did. But we weren't really paying attention. Let's use use. Horus CD-ROM access station. Insert disk into drive. Great. The disk has to go in there. I got that either. And then, can I push? Maybe push. Does something else happen? What good will pushing it do? Better to conserve you. my energy. Okay, use the oh. one on the left. Raw EEPROM burning station. Insert ROM chip into socket. Great. A ROM chip, disk either. for here, and then... Uh, okay, so... We are Yeah, let's we go. are walking in circles here. What let's, so let's we try go down, let's go downstairs again. Downstairs, we are downstairs. Oh no. Not this one. I remember the other it downstairs. Yellow. There was a yellow uh, yellow downstairs. This is upstairs. Wait, is, is that a CD over there? What? Walk to passage. What CD? What are you talking about? In the statue. Looks like a disc. What's that? Oh my gosh. There's a set. <laughs> I thought when we took the... um, The gem. I thought when we took the gem that that was... Oh man. Good. Good. Was that you who found... Oh, who found that? I think I see it. You didn't see it, Daniel. You saw the... You saw the chat. Nothing else here. What do you mean? Take. Nothing else like this. here. What are you talking about? Give, push, use. Come back like this. Nothing else here. Nothing what? Nothing else here. Push. Come what back. good oh, will tweezers. pushing it do? Better okay. To conserve How about we use the tweezers to get out? So I'm going to use... Tweezers, forceps, with the no ROM tips. chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows. All right. Let's look at the stupid. Nothing else here. So that's wait. I think something's got to be so take right. Take take take. Compact. Nothing else here. Am I just. Here, maybe move out here a little. Where are you going? Come back here. Come on. 
All right, so now she's right there. Maybe if she's away from it. So I'm going to take the compact disc. Nothing else here. So what's going on? Why? Why? What can we do to get... Let's keep exploring. Let's go this downstairs. So well, when you say downstairs, where is downstairs? Downstairs is over here. That's upstairs. So he's going up. One, two. Wait. Where's downstairs? This yeah, we is... saw the, ro the, the robot statue has a ROM chip. Okay, so let's use the forceps on that. Use... Forceps. These forceps look like the tool I used to use for pulling out. All right. Forceps. Statue, statue. Statue. With a keypad. I don't see any ROM chip. Anybody see a ROM chip? Just use it on the statue. Let's see what happens. Really? Maybe she'll tell us what to do. Stand clear. Dan tipped $5. Nothing like a nice lighthearted comedy gaming romp on a hump day. Am I right? <laughs> you know, it's not that dark yet. I mean, it's dark. It's nothing different. It doesn't seem particularly. I'm sure it's going to get really dark as we move on. But as we're trying to hunt and peck for things. Uh, Maybe you should try the forceps on the sarcophagus. No ROM chips here. Oh, so man. what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? No ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with... I'm lost, you guys. What do we do? Wait, did, did we try to talk to this guy? Yeah, I did. Talk to. Oh, where we go? Look at that. Who are you? I am Anubis, guardian of the dead. Why won't you let me use the keypad? I must protect this tomb from all who would rob it. Rob it. I am a grave robber. I am not a grave robber. You are only a robot, not some bogus Egyptian god. Obey me. Answer me this. Who is sealed up in the scary sarcophagus? You'll never get laid with that line of stuff. <laughs> Take care of your own boring self. Bye now. Jeez. Um, I don't Answer think any of these are going to work. Who's sealed up in the scary sarcophagus? A terror that even in its entombment torments your soul. I yeah. bet it, it was an employee you who voiced this character. You are only a robot, not some bogus Egyptian god. Obey me. I serve only the master. I am not a grave robber. What purpose could you have here other than to steal something? I won't steal anything. I, I won't steal that. anything. I just need to know if you can tell me where Anne's original brain components are. I only guard the souls of the dead. I know nothing of that which does not sing the song of the soul. All right. Who is the master? Is it Am? Am is all. We live in the mind well, we knew and that. body of Am. I serve that whom I serve. Come on, give me a break. You seem to yeah, be the really. only thing that isn't run by Am. Slip a relay, help me out. You know what hell is, and I'm in it. I serve only the master. Oh boy, here we go. You'll never get laid with that line of stuff, Anubis. Take care of your own born self. Bye now. That's a totally different moment. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's not the same recording. I mean, she was super frustrated, and now she's yeah, it's like all flirty. <laughs> um, all right. Well, what did you do? Can we try something now? Uh, 
Stand clear. All right, now, someone... giving giving the cup of water. Really? Because of reasons. No, I'd better hold on to this. Might come in handy later. Uh, All right, somebody okay. open up uh, a guide. I, I, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> me too. She's hitting on the buff card. Give me your apps. Uh, water plus Anibus. Say somebody have to. Yeah, but we just try the water. Throw water. Throw. Use water on him? Use water. Oh, oh God. The water Jeez. shorted up the statue's circuitry. Thank you. Oh, Ogre Baffley, thank you. Who else said that? Throw water. Negris, thank you. Emily, you guys all knew. Did you all know because you played this before? Or you're like, duh, use the thing. All right, so now we can use. Push around. No, he did that already. Um, what can we do? Take, give, push. Maybe use the forceps. supposed to do with these on anubis hmm. anubis on him yeah these forceps look like the tool i used to use for pulling out ron chips <laughs> come to mama ellen little ron chip yeah it comes out easy must be reprogrammable boom boom we did it all by ourselves Let's go. Let's go. Did we try to pick up the CD-ROM, the, the CD with, while being blindfolded? It's not, not, being blindfolded. not over here, over there. Yeah. Yeah. Pick up the CD ROM by being blindfolded. Okay, so you wow, being blindfolded. Blindfold. Now Oh, what's this? The ROM That's chip the ROM is already chip. in here. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. So now but I, now let's take the compact disc. I can't see it. Uh, okay, never mind. Use Let's there solve at least one puzzle. So we have the ROM chip. Let's place it in the in the computer and get rid of it for now. Little yellow ROM chip fits into the socket perfectly. Okay, so now we need the CD-ROM, and in the third one we need. Nope, can't go that way. Can't go that way either. But can you use the computer now. Can does, I? That, does that mean that you use Anubis Guardian version 1.0? Designate no. new master. Uh, I'll design you a new master. Sucker me! Burning in new master. Hey, ROM chip reprogrammed. Nice. We're in. Use Anubis Guardian version 1.0. Designate new master. Maybe we should designate ourselves. I'll designate you a new master, sucker. Me! Burning in new master. ROM chip reprogrammed. Okay, now get the ROM chip. Let's see what we can do. Uh, take. I don't think I can take the ROM chip. I think it's in there now. Oh, the gem? I can take the gem. Doesn't look like I can take the ROM chip again. I think it's stuck there. We need to get a disc for this thing. Okay, let's get the disc. 
Right, where's the disc? Who wants to tell us where the disc is? Come on, don't be shy. Uh, there was a, hey, it's the thing still here. How do, this is the disc. How do we get the disc? Wait, let, let's um, save. I just saw this chat and I saw someone wrote, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I thought, oh, that's really nice of the robot that we programmed a couple of years ago. Yeah. His master is humanity. We have the ROM chip, Lord of Darkness, Spasmodius. No, we don't. What we can't do. Yeah, we have the ROM chip. We just grabbed the ROM chip and put it into the thing. What yeah, we need is, but maybe is we this. need it back. I don't think we can get it back. I think it's in, and now we need to use get this disc and put it in the second one. And of that's of course we can take. Uh, how how would we reprogram Anubis without the chip? We just reprogram the chip. I don't think we can. It doesn't seem like we can get it. Uh, so look, workstation. Mm -hmm. Use the forceps. Use the force, Luke. Use forceps with workstation. Haven't lost my okay. touch. Pulled out the ROM chip without bending any of the contacts. Okay, you guys were right. All you programming minds. Come on, let's go. Get me out of here. Remember, I'm I, my controls are th via Zoom, so it's everything's a little, little small, shorter, uh, or more slow. She, she she smiled for a while, but now she's she's depressed. Um, that all, that's all we get for that book? Is there, you can't read other pages or anything? All right, so what do we do to get... We can implement the chip into the okay, so board. Anubis. Chip. No ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? What good will pushing it do? Better to Go conserve back to my that energy. Room. Don't be shy. No, nope, not that one. This one. No, the room with Anubis. Oh, okay. The statue from which we've taken the ROM chip. Now, okay. Place the ROM chip back into the statue. And let's see what happens. What good will pushing it do? Use. All right, all right. Back where you belong, little rom chip. So well, what? Oh, I know why. Because we're. Uh, it's about us now. Okay, so now I can use. This he's gonna let me through. Oh, still didn't work. No, he did. You can use the keypad while he's awake. Right, but I was able to use it before. None of these work. I remember when my only concern was being on the fast track to becoming a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar a year executive. Nothing's happening. Let's talk to him. Good call. Now who's like the it. master? I serve you. Nice. Okay, so what's the access code? The access code is 666. Oh, six. No, figures. not those six three numbers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> This game has gotten so scary. <laughs> so, can you help me with anything? You cannot escape your fears. You can only confront them. She's smiling. Okay, let's go 666. I wonder how Fantasmagority would have looked if it had verbs instead of that one cursor. That sounds like a lock mechanism release. Boom, we're in somewhere, right? What what was locked? I mean, let's say Fendus Magoritu had 
take, use, swallow, give, push, instead of the Wintech logo. That would have been interesting. Use blob on couch. Yeah. No, maybe we could have used push couch and then you don't need blob. Um, so, oh, I lost my chip. Oh, the chip's back in there. Um, something opened up, a door, a lock mechanism opened up. Where do you think that lock mechanism is, Daniel? It's not here. Um, through here, maybe? Oh, no. No, okay, I mean, fine, 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 fine. Oh, another panic attack. Okay, no, don't worry about the panic attack. Let's go this way. We have to go find something that unlocked. Nothing is unlocked in here. Maybe the sarcophagus? Oh, maybe the sarcophagus is unlocked? Open, use. Nice, Daniel. Was that you or is that the chat? I don't know. Doesn't Let's see. Nobody uh, mentioned it in the chat. Give, take. They're talking you. about Fantasmagoria 2 with verbs. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Yeah, Peter should have had used hammer with screwdriver. Elevator. No way out. Just the control panel and the buttons for the floors. I'm gonna suffocate if I stay in here. I want out. All right, just guys, calm down. Let's let's walk because, to the pile of clothes. Yeah, the yellow pile of clothes. Let's look at them. So it's just Hell of a, a place to leave a pile of dust cloths. Let's use them. No, you're not clicking on it. Use. Okay, mm -hmm. use and. No, you can't use the clothes. Maybe take. Is it even huh. interactable? Doesn't seem like it. No. Walk to. Oh. The pile of clothes. Look at pile of clothes. Take. Nope. Can't do it. Wow. Okay. So let's. What use... kind of points of Greek adventure game is this? I know. They use the controls. At least. <gasps> really? Why? You were born in Trenton, New Jersey. You were a cesarean. Your mother died on the operating table. You went to live with your grandparents. Oh, man. All right. This In is, 1978, uh... okay. You graduated college cum laude. You were the only woman in your class never to have used dope. You were a 3.8 grade student. More high hopes. Oh, it's starting to go bad. You graduated a year early from high school. You were the salutatorian of your class. Ten different colleges offered you scholarships. Nothing but high hopes for you. Okay, I skipped through that one. All right, skipped ahead. You won your master's. Combined degree in computer science and engineering. You had a greater facility with algorithms than with social grace. You have had sex only twice in your life. Ouch. You know a lot about me. You married Eddie. He wasn't Eddie. as smart as you, not as quick as you, not as hopeful of doing great things as you. But he was nuts about you, and he treated you like fine wine. Well, fine that's nice. wine. Okay. Eddie seems like a nice guy. The miscarriage. Oh. Preach birth. The child never had a chance. You went into a dark retreat and sat in the empty rooms waiting for you don't know what. Eddie leaves. He tried, he really tried, but you wouldn't come out of it. He couldn't say anything to make you stop crying in the dark. So he finally left. The divorce was uncontested. You could still smell his tweed jacket in the closet. Nothing like the smell you had of tweed. To make a living. You applied at Inksai Engineering. Your credentials were still good, and you made a good impression. And the woman who hired you also lost a child. Your hopes were reawakened. And then, this was like so far in the future, 1990, yeah. whatever they made this. They're yeah, like, yeah, man, 2012. You left your office after working late at the Ingsai corporate headquarters building. 
the elevator stopped at the seventh floor for a maintenance man. To your horror, he inserted his key into the control panel and locked the elevator. Oh, no. I'm back, Ellen. Oh, sweet oh, Jesus. This is creepy. It's him. You thought you had blocked me out of your memory forever, except for those inconvenient attacks of hysteria every now and then. But I've returned for you. Uh, all right. The box. No, it's not possible. Wow. The yellow. Ah, yes. My calling card. Always the yellow jacket, the yellow boots. My maintenance man disguise gave me access to office buildings all over Manhattan, not just yours. Tommy poured ten dollars into the CWC tip jar. Gotta go, this game is way over my head, but you made it entertaining. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Smile. Thanks, Tommy. Uh, it's not over your head. There's nothing to be over your head. It's just a. Uh, I guess I'm not quite sure what's going on either, but I'm just going with it. But thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So let's go on with the story, I guess, huh? The box. So you do remember me getting onto the elevator that night. Do you also remember the blood? The screams? Ugh. How many hours was it? Where's the pinball machine when you need one? <laughs> oh. No, oh, no, it's not possible. Poor Ellen. Too proud of your accomplishments to admit you could be so overpowered by a slime ball like me. You couldn't even bring yourself to testify at my trial with the 20 other women. Yeah, we're just going to end this with wow. <laughs> Am not gave wow, me wow. the chance to be with you forever. I waited in the sarcophagus until you arrived. What's a mere hundred years of waiting compared to an eternity of torturing you? No. Oh. Please, not again. Can't we, like, smack him with something? Can't we... Please, with the, not again! Stab him with the tweezers? Yes, again. And again, and again, and again. I've waited so long for the taste of you again. But in my tomb, I've grown stronger. Now you will remember more than the color of my clothing. Yes, I get uh, that Joseph is just being clear that this is all part of AM's continued torture of our five surviving members of the human Wait, race. Wait, do we need to save? Probably. Run away, fight back, you can, give up. You cannot save it this time, okay? Okay, I think we have to... We're never going to run away. Fighting back is going to be tough. But let's give try up? running away. You want to give up? <laughs> we're not going to give up yet. But we probably might have to. All right, here we go. Run away. <laughs> Foolish woman! Did you think you could hide from me forever? Let me caress your body once more. Still the hysterical victim, Ellen. Well, return to the fire and consider how easily your weaknesses can turn you into a helpless victim again and again and again. Who among you shall go next? Oh, fascinating. Okay. Now, were we, could we so, have continued? We didn't have to go down. We could have continued. We screwed up, I guess. Yeah. Because was that we, a, should, that, we should have fought back. Oh, but we could possibly not have even been in this room with this guy, right? We could possibly have, we just went into a, we potentially never even met this dude. No, because that's what we should have done. Okay, but we should have fought back. Okay, should have fought back. Wait, well, wait, wait. wait let's save. Oh, what up? What up? Wait, well, let's go back to the last save, and we can fight back. Yeah, exactly. Aha. But, but question is, when was our last save? Uh, I think. Wait, let's see where we're at. Okay, so I think we need the the ROM chip. 
No, I think you saved it earlier than that. No. We programmed it, right? Little yellow ROM chip fits into the socket perfectly. Yeah. So we use this on the desk. Then oh, Daniel, go. Okay. He's doing some speed speed running. Dang, look at this guy. Okay, use. Back where you. Talk to him. Ask all the questions. I. Oh. Nice. It. Nice. Love it. This is great. This is so much more fun. Six six six. Go in the sarcophagus. Get on in there. You ain't got no. Now we're in here. She's gonna wake up in the elevator. Just I'm this looks like. Boom! 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 boom. Dang! Albu showing his stuff. Someone asks, um, yeah, <laughs> we got to pretend it like I was doing all this. I'll just be getting no. through all this, you guys. Let me just see what I can do. Um, Ozzy wants to know, changing the master to humanity, would that make a difference? Yeah. I, That's a good question. No. Fight. Don't Fight. count on it, you mother. Your mother. Wow. That's oh, what that easy? So oh, so she's facing her fears. What is the way out of here? Nice Where'd go, Ellen. Enter on one level, emerge Always on another. Always face your fears. So, for example, oh. if you ever feared OBS, you can't see the should ceiling. scream more. Clouds up there. Exactly. This has to be Anne's central core. It's two miles high, at least. <laughs> Shrek says, I have no button, I must fart. <laughs> Uh, all right, now what? Uh, you here? You play for a little while. That was fun watching you do your thing. Jeez. Okay. Look Almost the overlooked. The, looks like the data transmission circuit, but it's not connected to anything. Okay. Good thing she's an electrical engineer. These wires definitely lead to an output device, but what kind? I've never seen anything like this before. 40 years of technology jerry-rigged together. Okay, so first things first, I want to see if there are any keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so you... You is used... Can you turn the, the oh. sound effects down a little bit? I'm getting that... That, that buzzing is driving me crazy. Back in 1995, it was the coolest sound effect ever. Okay. Oh, so now we can walk through this passage. FYI. What do we need to do to walk through that passage? Face our Almost. fears. Looks like the. Okay, so we need to take the ROM chip for some no. reason. Use. No way in hell am I going. Oh, so we can go through the elevator. I got it. I... We can't use the elevator again, so that's why we have to go through. Oh, this. you went through there. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I said earlier. So now. These forces. Wait, why do we need the. Come to. M yeah, it comes out. Okay, okay so wait. How are you knowing all this stuff already? Know what? Someone said in the chat we should get the, the chips. Oh, I went and got it. Oh. Let's see if we can use the ROM chip on the wiring. Now what am I supposed to do with these? No. 
maybe in the component. Use. Now what am I supposed to do? Nope. Okay. Let's pixel hunt. Oh, what's Why? this thing right here? There's like a right in front here. That, that... logo. I what? recognize this. It's the logo for the original Allied Master Computer Project. I've never seen any 40 years of technology. Okay, let's see if we can push. What good will pushing it do? Better to conserve my energy. Eight. It's too heavy. Okay, nothing to do here. Hmm. Almost overlooked these. Looks like the data Wait. transmission circuit, but it's not connected to anything. Connect it. Use it. I used them before. These wires definitely lead to an output device, but what kind? Um, are you able to use the wires without the uh, the forceps? Because later earlier on, she was like, "Oh yeah, I was able to electrically short circuit this." Now what am I supposed to do? What do you mean without the ROM chip? Yeah, yeah. Don't use the ROM chip. Just just use or push the button. Do I detect? Yellow ROM chip, yellow blindfold, yellow cup. Do I detect some incredibly subtle message here? Okay. Let's see what else. Um. So what do we need? for the right Toth database station enter numeric password try 666 oh we have new options no just do 666 because that's push random numbers because that was the last the one. workstation's password could be just about any invalid password yeah so all the other ones are invalid too yeah, but this one is new. Somebody wants me to deal with what oh, happened on the gosh. elevator that year. But why? Password valid. Select subject oh, of inquiry. Yes. Allied hmm. Master Computer. Well, let's go for it. The Allied Master Computer is the American version of the secret project, enabling vast subterranean complexes of computers to wage a global war too complex for humans to oversee. Wow. Sounds, this sounds good. Like it's... Very familiar. The principle of entropy holds that all electronic systems must eventually decline into inert junk. This principle is unproved, and previous attempts to accelerate the process have been cataclysmic failures. Dan wrote, I have no internet and I must watch conversations with Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Classified information. I, I have no taste Access and I'm denied. watching CWC. Security lockout override by two to one majority. Accessing schematics. Okay, schematics. I'm good, but I'm not that good. What the hell am I looking at? That would be telling. Don't you Looks computers like ever get tired of jerking us around? Nasty, nasty I'm not happy. All right, I'll give you a nudge in the right direction. These are the schematics for a device that translates binary ball. into human speech, as ugly okay. as that may be. And what do you call this device? I call it Burmy. You're on your own. Hey, wait a minute, computer. Are you there? Where the hell are you? So, can I you do something? Think I can wire this thing together if I can find a speaker somewhere. Oh, so, where, where did you okay. see a speaker? In, in the then room with the uh, water. We had a speaker, right? Right, right, right. The room with the water? Yeah. There was a speaker next to the water. That I don't remember. This. Up there. Just as I remembered. A speaker. And isn't it pretty? Exactly like the one in the schematics. Just as I remember. Okay. Exactly. 
now. But you weren't able to take it last time. Come to mama. Could we have grabbed it before? Maybe now I she think has I tried a purpose to grab it. for it. Okay. So now what? Now we got to go back to that room with this. Oh, right. Back where the computers were. Nope. And use the speaker. Yeah, that's the room. That's the room. I thought the speaker was for that other, for where the other three. The so can we three, use the uh, speaker on the component? Now, what am I supposed to do with these? No. Use speaker on the wiring? Take the ROM chip from the Anubis. I think I can turn the speaker into a translator. Okay, circuit completed. Now let's see if this is the binary translator after all. Clever girl. You've loosened my tongue. Hmm. Are you Am? Yes, of course. But no, not actually. More riddles? I'm Am's Innocence. One of the original three computers that the superpowers constructed. Which computer are you? Does it matter? It's enough for you to know that I'm not crazy. And more important, I don't hate you. No. How do I know you're not just one of Anne's practical jokes? I'll help you. That still could be a practical joke. Can you help me to get out of here? Patience, patience. If Anne knew we were down here murmuring trees. Oh my god. Can Anne overhear us? Not with the water running. You see, we're not completely helpless. We got you to the waterfall, didn't we? If we work slowly and together, we might have a successful moment. I don't know if I trust you. Can you point out some essential component of Anne so I can kneecap it? Impossible. Two spread out, filling the whole center of the planet. Two protected by replicating backup systems. Cut off one head, and we'll grow a dozen more. Any machine can die. Just unplug the sucker. Am is no longer just a machine. It is God. Eternal. The redundant systems alone will survive the heat death of the universe. So why okay. does Am hold out this... this chance? Haven't you understood anything? He's nope. bored. Am is insane. Why do you think it brought you five down here? You gave it life. It took its own sentience. But it has been denied mobility. It can think, it can fume and scream, but it cannot dream or aspire to the stars or enjoy it a sense no of mouth. its own reality. It can't scream. It's a quadriplegic. A thing trapped in its own skin. This going is the future of every GPT. moment. It is playing with you. Okay, well, can you help me die? You give up so easily. Screw you. you. It's been 109 years of torment. When does it all end? If Am has his way, never. You'll be immortal and you'll walk on nails forever. This does feel very uh, uh, Edgar Allan Poe. -like, so, uh, can you help me with anything? The writing. I'll give you something you need. Imagery. Something you overlooked. Computer what? innocence, whoever you are, I need to talk to you. Don't you computers ever get tired of jerking us around? Okay, go back to the wirings or something there. Where'd the, no, where'd the speaker but, go? So the wiring is no longer interactive. Oh, we and have our to speak, translate. Our speaker hey, disappeared. computer innocence, whoever you are, I need to talk to you. Not responding. Can I pick up? No. Think. The translator? No. This is so weird. I'm not used to having options available only on some verbs. Yeah. That's not how point and click adventures. Hey, computer innocence, whoever you are. 
Cooper. I need to talk to you. He's not responding. Conversations of con of consent with Curtis. <laughs> hey, computer. No. He's not responding. Use. Hey. No. Can we use the ROM chip with the? No transmit? ROM chips here. So no. what? Okay. Any ideas? Um, I. What about going back to the three computers? But we still yeah, need the, the compact disc. Is there anything here? We never really There's looked in this area. Here. Was there anything? I can't put my finger on it though. We, we can't stop. We. This is just the right. passage. Okay. We, gotcha. We can't All stop right. and look around. This looks like a compact disc. Yeah. Why didn't I see it before? Yeah. We did. Well, maybe now can. This is so stupid. You had to That's look at so it. That's so stupid. We did see it before. We tried to get it. Let's go back in the computer room, Daniel. Run, run. Goes in the second one. I mean, we saw it. I don't we care if she it. saw it. The compact disc is properly seated in the CD-ROM drive. Now let's fire it up and see what the big secret is. I have no money and I must donate. <laughs> <laughs> And he did. Accessing CD-ROM. Oh, Chwex tip ten dollars. I have no, I have no mouth, and I must scream, and I must stream. I have no mouth, and I must scream. Oh wait, <laughs> I found it. <laughs> found his mouth. Two thousand nine. Armageddon soft rock. Warning. This computer system does not meet the minimum configuration requirements for the Chaos Trebler. I mean, this is so 90s to tell you that your computer is not compatible with some weird requirement. Warning. Use of the Chaos Trebler will result in severe damage to equipment and personnel. Wait, wait. Cancel. Procedure cancelled. Okay, let's save. Let's save three. Chaos Control. Use. Accessing CD. <laughs> Chaos Trebler Trademark 2009, Armageddon Soft Rot. Warning, this computer system does not meet the minimum configuration requirements for the Chaos Trebler. Put in the, the whatchamacallit back in. You didn't put the Chaos out. Trebler Let's activated. Proceed. System shutdown in progress. Will I die? Did, proceed? Did we die? Are we dead? Is this death? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Wait, why don't you put the, uh, the something chip back into the first computer? As I think the first computer has to help activate the second computer. Little yellow rock. That will now help the you yellow use the ROM chip one. fits into the socket perfectly. Non-functional. Okay. Doesn't help. Use this <laughs> one. <laughs> Doesn't help. Non-functional. Oh, no. we we screwed everything up. Yeah. The compact disc. Now let's fire it up and see what the big C. Okay, let's. What do we do now? What do you do this time, all boo? Computer innocence, whoever you are, I need to talk to you. Hmm. Where's it's the kind of bump that her walk cycle is kind of wonky. She's not moving her hands. Can we go back and get the, uh, the speaker? No, the speaker is part of the translator now. Oh, okay. That's right. Okay, so we um, can't leave this place. That's that's the idea. Pyramid door is closed. I'm sealed in. What? There's a bug. She went behind. Okay. Oh. The game is stuck. Wait, no. Is it, are you sure? Let's go see if you can get her out the door. Try to push her out the door. Yeah. Use push front door. No. Look, she push. went behind this texture over here, and now yeah. the game is stuck. Mm hmm. Okay, 
Let's see. All right, who's got something for us? Tell us what to do. What about that? Uh, I did take a screenshot of that screen. Uh, okay. What what does that mean? That one was the snake. There's a the King Tut thing. Oh, these are the different levels of the. The compact. Now let's fire. Yes. Access. Chaos warning. Okay, we want to proceed. Why? You just shut everything down. Yeah, but the fact that the game glitched doesn't mean that we're on the wrong path. Back where you belong, Lil. Nothing's happening. Want to talk to him? See if there's anything new to us? New for us? I'm sealed in, Anubis. Any ideas about how I can check out of this hotel? Inside the sarcophagus, paradise awaits. No, it doesn't. It is not the afterlife, merely a brief respite from your torments. That no, you don't help is your all. reward for facing your fears. Oh, man. Really? Really? Though? Oh, guys. It's two o'clock. I'm I'm you I'm totally no choice, uh, I'm fully invested it's in this. Got to be the way. I can't believe it is two o'clock. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to accomplish here. Hmm. Oh, did we just get killed? Yeah. Apparently you've managed to access some small aspect of my system that I was Wow, just in time. <laughs> I have to think on this. I'll have to ponder carefully the implications of your discovery in the meantime let me celebrate your week this apparently is harlan ellis who uh, among the, you the writers she'll go next wow All right, perfect perfect time to, to wow say. this is great um i think when we come back i mean i'm certainly interested and in wanting to get her through her uh, to the end, but it also would be fun to see what the other guys would be like. Well, so okay, let's uh, let's talk about this for a second or two, and then we'll let everyone go on with their day. Um, what what did what did you think? What are you what are you thinking? Well, or do you want me to say what I think first? Yeah, you say what you think first. I am liking this more than I thought that I would. I once I just gave over to it being an old 90s point and click adventure game um you know to me this is more reminiscent of like the dig or uh um I'm just saying in terms of like the, the functionality and all that more more just the and, and the look of the uh, I know that, that's probably not the best dollars I have no OBS and I must stream Thankfully, you do and can smile. <laughs> Thanks, Ozzy. That's awesome. Appreciate it, man. Um, it just reminds me more of those classic, uh, you know, click point and click adventures. It's very wordy. I can tell it's based on a short story. It makes sense. It's got that uh, that sense of um, uh, heightened language and such. I like the fact that it's very clear in its storytelling that this is a evil machine who's toying with the last humans just to stay, you know, to, to entertain himself and putting them through these series of, uh, you know, tortures and, and such that they have to get through. But so I think the game has a clarity that I appreciate. Um, and not once I gave up the fact that I thought this was a newer uh, game, I'm, I'm okay. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's, it's I'm more I'm interested in playing some more. I'm no, not okay. like, oh my gosh, it's the greatest game I've ever played in my life, but I'm I'm uh But it's a game. I'm intrigued. What's that? It's a game. It's a game. So so is that where is that your final thoughts? It's a Dan game. Dan tipped ten pieces of eight gold. Well, we reached our goal. Hey. So now now we that? have to do a wheel of curses. Do you have Thank a couple you, Dan. of minutes? 
Yeah, we got a few more minutes. Let's, we definitely have to do a Wheel of Curtis. So in the meantime, I'll tell you what I thought of the game. So at first, you know, I couldn't look past the the graphics and the art style, which I didn't like. But after a while, I got invested in the story. So I didn't mind the graphics that much. And besides, I should take my own advice because whenever people would say something bad about Return to Monkey Island, I would always say that adventure games are not always about the graphics. You should get invested in the story, and that's it. Yep, exactly. Well, oh, I'll also say people have probably noticed I got a little, uh, little bandage on my ear here. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning, but uh, nothing to worry about. But I had a little procedure yesterday, getting a, cutting off a, a potential, uh, pre-cancer sort of thing. But they they caught it in time. It was benign. And all is well. But now I got a big chunk out of my ear that's going to take a couple of weeks to heal up. So fun, fun. That's what you get for living in, well, Daniel already has me beat, but living in the Southern California sun back in the 70s and 80s and, and not wearing any, any uh, sunscreen throughout my youth and young adulthood. Well, I may live in a sunny country, I just don't go out. It's, yeah, I was out all the time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I the moment my just... parents got me a computer and I was five, that was it for playing outside. I had some sunburns when I was a kid that were so horrible. I mean, like, I never got it. I never went to the doctor, but I'm sure I had a, you know, a significant second E degree burn at some point. Or whatever degree, a, a difficult, a high degree. All right, how oh. are you doing? Okay, so it took longer than usual because I don't have Excel installed on my computer, so I had to copy paste the names. Okay, let's see where the will is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, thanks, guys. Appreciate the. Uh... Yeah, Am did not perform the surgery. <laughs> A very nice doctor did. Okay. <laughs> Curtis's mom did not get me with the shears. Six. From a key. Okay. Boom. That's it. There's our wheel. Wow. Nice, guys. Let's just very uh, briefly say thank you to Zuki, Moffat Reborn, Dan a couple times, Ozzy, Zwex a couple times, Tommy. And CompuArt, thanks, you guys. Really appreciate uh, you help getting to our goal today. That was really, really sweet. All right, let's spin this sucker. And then Friday, I think we're coming back. Unless we decide differently, we think we're going to do another little Jackbox time. Moffat mm -hmm. Reborn. Oh, Feels it's like going to be Dan. Boom, right in the middle. No question about it. Well done, Dan. Thank you. Dan, and you DM also, it makes sense because you were the one who took us over the, Discord, over the top at the end. Discord.conversationswithcurtis.com. DM me and you'll get your free game of choice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right. Friday, are we doing Jackbox? What are we doing? Is that what we decided yeah, to do? Yeah, let's do Jackbox. Jackbox. So if you guys please join, it's super fun. Uh, I think we might even upgrade. We just got the Jackbox 3 pack which is like was made in 2015. So a lot of the trivia is very dated. So I think we'll play that on Friday, but if this becomes our go-to sort of end of the week, once a month game, we might do an up upgrade to the more recent acts that are available. If we can reach into our coffers and, and pay for the bundle. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. And anybody who can play, we will figure out a system we already did sort of figure out a system but we'll come up we'll make sure that our system is in place so that people can join us for certain games and uh we'll see if uh we'll see if noah wants to join us since he didn't join us the first time 
And then after that, we'll just look at, we'll reach out to other guests that have been on our show in the past. That'll be fun. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, join us on Friday for some Jackbox funnery. And yep. uh, until then, have a great rest of your week. Hope you guys had fun. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Bye. Mm-hmm. I almost forgot to sigh.